Hello, Possum's Dreamer Smith here in Alphacraft. In the little village of Alpha by Water. I don't want to show you people's houses because that's spoilers, but oh, there's some lovely ones going up. And uh, mine's gone down. <laughs> I've built a basement. There's house to go above it. Now, after our little mission, big mission, where I didn't find any of the things I wanted by brought home some cats, I got a bit fed up. I can be stubborn like that. I'll just start putting in the floor while I talk to you. And I thought, no, I'm not going to be defeated. <laughs> so I headed off in that direction, which is basically the opposite of where we fell into this world. Um, yeah, I'm going to need quite a few stairs. And I went out to about um, minus 4,000 by minus 4,000. And I found a number of things. I found something Sea Love was looking for. I found something Jackson Wild were looking for. Um, I found a desert. So I've got some cactus. I did not find what I was looking for. I was looking for a jungle. Uh, we'll need uh, probably another 16. I've probably got that wrong. <sighs> I wanted a jungle. I did not find one. At all. <laughs> but. I did find. In a chest. In a shipwreck. At the bottom of the ocean. That nearly drowned me. Two pieces of bamboo. Two. <laughs> so I brought them back. I gave one to Jackson Wild because they're going to need scaffolding. I kept one for myself because fruits of my labour and I've been growing it. it. Grows really well. Oh. And I also found two more cats. So we've got five now. That's a nice little collection. So... Luckily, thanks to finding the bamboo, because that's what I wanted, I now have probably everything I need for my house. I would like um, a potion stand, a brewing stand. But I had one of those. I got it from a village. And that's one of the things that despawned when I died. Um, but I've got everything else the potion stand at this point is cosmetic, really, because, let's face it, no blaze powder. But I think we can get on and build this house.
So there we have it. That's the outside done. I don't know what anyone else is going to think of it. I don't know what you all think of it. But I like it. I really do like it. I could possibly be mad. <laughs> but outside done. Let's do the inside. Now, this is a one chunk house. That pillar to that pillar, 16 blocks. So there's not a lot of room in here. Now, up here, this is going to be one large room. I'm going to put an enchanting table and bookcases in here. So this is fine. Down here, I want several rooms. And you can see here I have lowered the ceiling by half a slab, half a block by one slab, because that's the hallway. Now, if I start making walls out of planks, we're not going to have very much room left. So I need walls, but I need them to be as thin as possible. So to that end, we're making walls out of trapdoors. So, let me have a look. Um, there we go. That's one little room. Um, we might do this wall next. I love the cats, but they get in the way sometimes. One, two, three. the one that's in the wrong spot use an axe right okay let's fold those back down now we know they're right next layer it is so much easier to put trapdoors on top of each other if they're closed there we go This one, and up here, that one goes there, trust me with this, it'll work. This one, we're just about done. Right, now we just fold these ones up and these ones down. And we have ourselves walls. There we go. Now, doors. Oh, that is in the wrong spot. Now doors. Um, that's also in the wrong spot. Did well, didn't I? Now, lighting in the hall, 
gets a bit dark at this point so let's put a little table in and a lamp problem solved and in here if I hadn't been silly and fallen in the ravine I'd have put a brewing stand because I had one one will go there eventually but we will put in some chests to start with that we can put um, bottles in and potion ingredients as we get them now we'll put a little bit of storage under the stairs and I can still use that as a loom and I can put patterns and things in here but it does look a little bit like some drawers oh and back here is access to the basement and I'll move um, uh, the stone cutter and the furnaces down here and the smoker um, and we'll have this as a sort of utility room oh and it has access to outside should I need it so this is the bedroom um, we'll put a double chest there two chests there um, an armor stand I can pop some armor on it I might put another table with a lamp there I'll think about it and in here is going to be general storage so the chests that are currently there I will move into that one and I'll add some extras yeah there's I don't need a whole lot here because you know this is my townhouse so this will do nicely and up here is where we are going to put um, bookcases and an enchanting table will go with that torches and I think one two three yeah we can put the crafting table there I'll put an anvil there so until I get some more books that's the best I can do so I think for the moment that's it my little house is done actually it's not finished there's one last thing there we are the Olali house so there it is let me know in the comments what you think good or bad I don't mind just tell me what you think Anyway, that's it for today. I think that's more than enough. We've got our house finished. So if you've liked this, or even if you've got a laugh out of how crazy this is, <laughs> hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Remember to hit that notification bell if you do. And select all so that YouTube tells you when my videos come out. And I'll see you next time.